Danny Flex and seconds out with two of the new, relatively newer members of the gym, much newer in your case, but not so much in Willie's case. Yeah. Robbie Davis Jr. and Willie Hutchinson. Yeah. Um, established contender, fast rising prospect, I think it's fair to say. Yeah. Robbie, starting with you, what was behind the move to the England gym? I just needed some new motivation in my career and um, where I've been for so many years, I felt like I started to stagnate a bit and I started to just go through the motions and then it just it was like one of them times where if nothing was broken it had no need to be fixed and then when the decision went against me in my last fight I thought if I'm ever going to move it needs to be now and then I, I had possibilities of all different gyms and then when I eventually trained with Dominic and all the lads and seeing like what a high level of training and the way things were up there I just thought this is it for me I'm not, I'm not leaving <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm here for the long term. Yeah. What, what's it like having this guy join the gym? Has he fitted into the dynamic? Yeah, listen, he's fitted in perfect. He's just like one of the lads, do you know what I mean? I'm happy. I got on with uh, Robbie. Um, I'm happy he come to the gym because I, it's someone new I can smash. <laughs> he's not messing and, either. And I, I enjoy smashing him. So I'm happy he's come. No, I'm hey, there's no weight but, advantage in this, I this say, game. You don't actually look that much bigger though. No, I, I know, don't, I know. Oh, you want him Either he's in really good shape or you've got a bit of work to do. One yeah, of the two. But, uh, yeah, he's fitted in perfect. Everyone, we all got on. And it's great, do you know what I mean? Jim's blooming just now. I mean, the likes of him, he's, he's British, British, European, Commonwealth champion, do you know what I mean? Another person I look up to in the gym. And I'm happy to come here. When are we going to see the two of you out next, Robbie Stike with you? I was uh, going to be on the March 7th bill on uh, Manchester, but um, I've been told to hold fire with like moving my tickets and things like that because I possibly might be getting moved to a later date in March, which it has its pros and cons because uh, it's more preparation with with Dominic and the lads and things like that. So would that be the O2 show? Uh, I couldn't tell you right now. They just said um, they might be moving me because I think it's because they've added so many people to the Manchester bill. And they want to make sure to give me a TV slot as well because I've been building my profile quite well with Maxim over the last year or two. And I don't want to come back and just be on the bottom of the card. So Facebook Live. <laughs> yeah. yeah you know what, I mean? so, what about you, Willie? When you're out? I'm boxing on the two week Saturday on the 22nd of February in York Hall. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Is that um, you're going to get a TV slot on that yeah, one? Yeah, a television slot. Um, I was supposed to be in the Kaiser Fury on the card. Oh, you couldn't wow. get me a television slot. So that's the reason why I'm boxing the exact same day, but in Britain. <laughs> but listen, it no, no, doesn't bother me as long as I get my fight. I just couldn't really care. Any idea of the opposition at this stage? Um, not a clue. I just leave all, leave all my career all down to me, my team, and my, my, my coach Tom. Um, I don't know. I actually don't even know who I'm fighting, and I've got an opponent. He just won't tell me, and I'm not really bothered. <laughs> I'm fighting who it is on the night, and I'm, I'm more than sure I'm ready to rock and roll. What about you, Robbie? Are you looking to like ease back in this first fight at St. Britson, or are you looking for you know a, a fringe uh, WBO strap? If, if I had my choice, I'd be having a rematch straight yeah. away. But um, I just do all I can say. Um, I think they'll be looking for a big one before the summer, whether it's this fight or the next one. Either way, it won't be too long before I'm back in the big fights, contention for titles. Before we let you both go, one at a time, just tell us what makes the England gym so special. Because we're there. Hundred <laughs> yeah, percent. No. The thing that makes the Angel Gym special is everyone's in there, we all want to better each other, do you know what I mean? Even when we go running, it's very, very competitive. I mean, and the gym's full of champions. I mean, everyone who Dom's trained from amateur to professional, everyone wants to be a champion, you know? And we all better ourselves, even in body span, we all want to win. I don't want to lose. You, you don't, everyone's, you don't want to lose. Got, everyone's got their own ambition yeah. and their own personal yeah. goals. And we're all working together yeah. as a team to reach them. And there's a true, there's a true saying, Iron sharpens iron, and I'm only young. I'm only 21. Every learning, I'm learning of everyone. You know what I mean? I'm who's, just soaking up, baby. Who's the best at body sparring? Not just out the two of you in the gym. Kid Galad. Kid Galad. Yeah. Yeah. Kid Galad. Yeah. Just because he's so fast on his feet. Because he, he's just, his heart rate yeah. doesn't go up, and he can do a million, <laughs> million rounds. I've never, I've never been around someone so fit no. as him. It's because he's been doing body sparring yeah. since he was a young kid. Yeah. All right, well, we really appreciate your time. Yeah. We look forward to seeing you out February 22nd yeah. and some point in March. Yeah, perfect. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.